Keto, Paleo, Whole30, Vegetarian, Low Carb, Low Fat, Zone. Fuck it, let's just eat potatoes. Another day, another diet. Sorry, but they all work. Not for everybody, but they all do work for somebody in some way. How do I know? I've tried a ton of these different eating styles over the past 10 years. The 2008 movie Food Inc. was sort of my red pill into the whole process, and I've been pretty obsessed ever since. Here's a few things that I've learned studying everything from vegan to carnivore. Long story short, it's complicated. You could spend years studying calories alone, but then there's also macronutrients, micronutrients, chemical additives, processing, your gut microbiome, not even to mention the business and economic side of things. Oh, and then there's you and your lifestyle. <clears throat> you see, it all interacts. Your body's like this giant interconnected web. And it's also home to countless microorganisms that feed on your behaviors and reflect and amplify your habits. You can go crazy studying different diets, so crazy that you may never start your own health journey. It's that old saying, the more you learn, the less you know. It's like we're eating ourselves sick and curing ourselves crazy. You know what, I like that. Let's, let's get a title card on that one too. Bang, copyright. But in all of these diets, there's a theme. There's a common culprit. And instead of Professor Plum with the candlestick in the library, it's Count Chocula with the refined sugar in the breakfast aisle. Nothing could tear me away from my Count Chocula meal. It's part of his complete breakfast, too. How about a wonderful breakfast today? For real. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we can fight about fats and carbs, meats and vegetables all day, but what we can't deny is the bittersweet truth. No reasonable diet plan advises individuals to increase their intake of refined sugar. I'm not saying that all sugar is bad. I'm not even saying that eating sugar is bad. I'm just saying that if there's one fact in all of nutrition, in all of these diets, it's that too much in the way of refined sugar is a bad thing. And this is especially true from processed sources. And coming in a close second is highly processed grains, but that's a story for another day. Every diet manifesto comes with this disclaimer, something along the lines of, this is gonna work a hell of a lot better if you can just cut some sweets out of the equation while you're at it. That being said, let's take another look at my equation. So everything on the left here, it's great, it's really interesting, it'll help you out, but it's also quite overwhelming. Most things that have been proven in studies have been disproven in other studies. And a lot of that comes down to who's funding it and what they want to prove. Okay, so Richard Nixon, he was worried that this was actually gonna cost him the election. So he admonished his Secretary of Agriculture to make food cheap. Remember Nixon's war on poverty? It, we're suffering from it today. The advent of high fructose corn syrup. And it was introduced to the American market in 1975. So what do you think happened to the price of sugar when this thing hit the market? Crunchy sweet, but half the sugar of most sugar-coated cereals. How does it taste so sweet? That's my secret. It's my secret. It's my secret. The further you dive into this nutrition thing, the more you realize it's a little wacky out there. This contradicts that. But that supports this, but if this is irrelevant, then that no longer applies. See what I mean? It's a little fuzzy, a little gray. So here's my new equation. You take everything you hear with a grain of salt, preferably real salt, and then you cut back on your grains of sugar and your grains of processed grains if you want to go the extra mile. All of this is great. It's there if you want it, but don't let it overwhelm you. Don't let it stop you. Don't think you need to learn everything before you get started. And if there's any place to start, it's getting that sugar monkey off your back. I mean, if you are a person like me and you want to take the red pill and dive deep into the nutrition world, just remember this. One, relax. And two, the common culprit in nearly every reasonable diet is added sugar. So if this is true, why are we still pumping our grocery stores, our restaurants, our school lunches full of this stuff? How did we get here as a nation? Scratch that, as a planet. What can we do to form a better relationship with sugar? What can we do to beat the addiction and live a healthier, freer life? All of this and much more is what I'm gonna be covering on a collection of videos that I'm calling the Pretty Sweet Series.
Coming soon. Actually, right now. This is episode one. Stay tuned. If you can just get that sugar monkey off your shoulder, this is going to be a hell of a lot easier.